brother's fleet, gathered and ready. That horn came from Elmenham. Baldis must have got to them. Eivor! What? Men are pouring in from across East Anglia, and our ships stand ready. The Edward's Reeve is with us. Its men will be here soon. More than his, the Kingsbury Horn has inspired men all across this kingdom. We will have the army we need. It seems Oswald got what he wanted in the end. Saxon and Dane united in common cause. A pity he is not here to see it. The forces will be ready soon. Are you ready to start the assault? I am. Our target is Burr Castle, said to be impenetrable. Good. Let them have their false confidence. By cover of night, Baldus will lead the field at the front gates. With Ruid's men distracted, our forces move on the sea gate from the backwaters at their backs. And once we're in, we'll leave no gate closed in that castle. Ruid's men cannot be allowed to dig in further. Your longship, is she ready? She awaits her own special glory. They need your words, Eivor. Oswald was a man who didn't hesitate when you sought him for favors. A man who was fair and strong. A man who gave his life for his kingdom. Honor him today. Honor his memory. And fight with the same extra courage he showed! For us! For us, for us world. Now is the time. Today we rid East Anglia of Ruud's clan, once and for all. Word of your actions in Theovor has spread like wildfire. Remember the dream I spoke of? You sail through Helheim on a ship of fire. Here, it may come to pass. Dreams. Life. Maybe they are one and the same. Tonight, I ride the flaming sea steed, rushing to the spear bed. To watch her light on water's wake, another glory I will keep. Ready yourselves. Ruid's shit stains will see us coming. Steady! Hold course! Ready yourselves to brace, men! We bring Helheim to our enemies! How nice! They greet us with some of their own from the air! Arrows! Great! Oh, this hell! May the sword maidens take them swiftly. Close one, last one! Keep your shield on, Slipper! Steady your hands! 
Hold for impact! to open these gates! Shut your ass, twig spine! Uh. 
Stand fast. This will be over soon. Worry not for me. You must stop. Silence, fool. So this is what it comes to, Wolfkist? Two Danes fighting over a filthy Saxon horse hunt? If this swine is your prize, come and get him. not yet won, Oswald. East Anglia will have its king, and it will not be you. That groveling worm in a cage. You must be blind to stand with such a man. For all your efforts, only the cold dark of Niflheim. Thank you. You'd throw in with these wastrels? These Argir swine? For what? A scrap of land and a promise of peace? Eivor, no! He should be tried before God, a lawful assembly. <laughs> I won't have my reign begin with more blood spilt than is needed. Another screeching scold. This man must die for the damage he has wrought. The old laws are clear. These are Oswald's lands. To rule as king as he sees fit. Does Eivor bow to kings? To defy a king would shame him. East Anglia cannot heal without his honor intact. And what of your honor, Eivor? How much are you willing to lose? He deserves death, Oswald. That's our way. Eivor, please! <laughs> blood for blood leaves no warmth in the hearts of men, Eivor. None at all. Saxon and Dane. We fought well, side by side. If there is to be a future for both our kind, 
People like you and me will have to change the most to live within it. Even if that makes us uneasy. When you are crowned king, the laws of this land will be yours to decide. All this is... is like a dream. But you are not asleep. Well fought! Well fought! The both of you! You came as well, old friend. If I'd known you were still alive, I would have stayed in Norwich. Look around you. A happy occasion and a glorious victory. And soon, something more grand to take place. Our wedding, my love. If you will still have me, that is. And why would I not? I fought poorly. I melted under the heat and anger of that brute. And I never... Oswald, stop. You fought with all your heart and soul. That's all you need ever do. Come then. We have much to prepare for. A bride to wed and a kingdom to lead. What some men wouldn't give for such things. Countless men have died for them. And you, Veneer? Are you jealous of such things? Hardly. My heart is a fire, but my body aches. I desire only a long nap. I saw a bale of hay back there. Later, Abel. For now I must see to the wounded. Then I will see you at the wedding. Aye, of course you will. I should return to Elmenham. Oswald's wedding will soon begin.
bountiful and worthy celebration, my lord. Thank you. May this feast set just like you to keep a king waiting at his own wedding. Yet I arrived in the end. A part of me worried you wouldn't. I told you I would see you crowned, and now here we are. Without you, I'd be dead. Another wasted hope for East Anglia. You look good, Oswald. Like a man about to marry a more powerful woman. Do I? Because I'm nervous as hell. Of all the battles a man can fight, the war against himself is the hardest to win. I hereby name you man and wife, and as man and wife, I name you... Oswald of Elmenham, first of his name, the rightful king of East Anglia. With this Lady Valdis, soul, fist, and beauty of this land. Done it, Steward. A king now sits on the throne of East Anglia. Don't leave yourself out of this song. We did it together. Back to your dreams, then, of fire and Helheim. I lost my way some time ago. Hard to say when. I don't want to be here. I never did. This was half Dan's dream. He ordered me to sailing, remember? Wind in my beard, salt on my lips. I want that life again. Whether or not I find it, only time will tell. Until then, let us feast, drink, and forget our pain! Your fist is without ale. Let us address that. Surely a special kind of metal is required for drinking before the new king? A metal not unlike your own. To Odin and his endless glories! And the new king of East Anglia! May his reign be long and good! Not bad, Wolfkiss. I wager you couldn't drink more than me if you tried. <laughs> A fool's wager. 
A challenge nonetheless. What say you? I could use a drink and shame you all at once, bro dear. But not right now. Uh, when you change your mind, I will be right here. Skull Ivor! Let's have a drink. Eivor! Care for a challenge? Eivor! Wolf kissed. Gaze upon my parts. They stand so strong. Unbreakable at this distance, no? They are not, Brothier. My arrows shatter whatever target they strike. Even after draining so much meat, succeed and you shall be rewarded. <laughs> Keep your eyes open long enough to witness this, you drunken loud. Yes, that's it! As with everything, an easy task for the wolf kissed. Ah, uh, barely a challenge. Impressive, impressive. Here as promised. Now go enjoy the party. Does not run that way, Finir. He's been after a while. Eivor, Eivor! Some sweet wine for a sweet swine? <laughs> Come join me! God wanders somewhere up here, does he not? I haven't seen him. They like to say he moves with mystery. Look! The moon! It moves on trouble now. But one day it will be eaten by a giant wolf and the nights will be black forevermore. Are you all right? I've tasted glory once again. And it was good. I'm glad to hear it. Now... I always felt like Skull or Hati. Chasing and trying to fulfill Halfdan's wishes. But now I've caught my sun and moon. I've got them and I... I don't know. You can let them go. Sail to a further shore. My longship's in Valhalla. Oh, don't you remember? Fire starter. <gasps> Come on, let's get you to solid ground. Everything's spinny. You're very strong. You're very large. Sorry for this, Eivor. I've had one last glory. I should be happy. I am happy. Thank you. It need not be the last. Not the last. <laughs> Behold, 
The boar represents fertility. Did you know that? As does Freya. What's your point? You impress me, Eivor. Your battle wisdom, your strength of character, skilled in so many ways. Yet I wonder, is there any skill of mine that I could impress upon you? Even a fool has something to teach, whether they are aware of the lesson or not. Hey, hey. But I could show you how to wield my plow sword. Sheath your plow sword, bro dear. I'm not interested. Uh, you, you thought... No. No. I wasn't serious. Come on now. Drink and be merry. Well, I had a few, friend. Wait, did you hear? Did my brother just call me? I think he... You know I should go. Brother! Behold! How light-footed! Enough fun and games. I should see how Oswald is doing. Eivor, I'm about to address our guests, and I'd like you to be there. It's been a worthy ceremony so far. And have you had enough fun yet? I'm ready to hear you address your kingdom. Good. Come, come. Join me. Friends, honored guests, we've pushed through hard times. It seems like all we've known is loss and suffering. But it is not conflict that binds us. It is compassion. May we always favor compassion, even when our enemies refuse its boon. So to my Dane friends and neighbors, I give thanks for the bravery you have shown during our collective struggles. And for my fellow Christians, may we continue standing as examples of our Lord's grace. Lights in the dark. I see East Anglia's future right here, right now. In all of you, Dane and Saxon alike, to our future. Still a bit soft on insults, but the king has courage. And to Eivor, without whom none of this would have been possible. On behalf of East Anglia, let this ring be proof of our loyalty to the Raven Clan and all they have done for us today. Would you have any words of wisdom for us? Oswald, you would not have been my first choice as king, nor my second. I thought you weak, bendable, without resolve. But not all men are as they first appear. I came to see that Oswald's heart is amongst the largest I've ever known. He is sturdy, he has wisdom, and he has courage. All qualities of a man worthy to be king. He is the king East Anglia deserves, and the king you need. To the good King Oswald! To Oswald! Skull! 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 Okay, everyone, the bridal race starts now. Remember, you all have to lose to the bride and groom. Quick, brother! We can't lose to Oswald! <laughs> it was a beautiful wedding, Oswald. Like you said it would be. Thanks to you and everything you've done here. It won't be easy putting the pieces of East Anglia back together. You won't be alone. Saxon and Dane have banded together in your name. You are the right man for the throne, and they'll be with you. Thank you, Eivor. I don't know what to say. When we met, I spoke of an alliance. 
Will you hold to the oath you made? I will. Consider East Anglia a friend of the Raven Clan. There will be a day when I come calling. Goodbye, friend. Until next time, Great King. Know that I should find Finia. Say goodbye before I leave. Ah, greetings, Sabor. You're missing the festivities. I've had my fill. It's as much yours as it is Oswald's. I was a crumbling man, Eivor. Before all this, I thought I'd die a tired old failure. But now, my heart burns bright with newfound fire. I want to live hard, die fierce. Glory cares not for age, Finir. Sail with me. My ship could always use a wise head and a strong axe. Together? Together. I'll gather my things. It seems the wind calls me back to Ranji. Let's tell her the good news. Eivor, if you have a moment to spare... Holger, ...and I will make you eat that wretched... Rowan! Thank Tyr. I heard shouting. Is something wrong? Holgir robbed me, and I demand he be punished. Ha! Rot disappointed word. Does the deer rub the stream when she takes a drink? Does the cow rub a field when he crops on sweet grass? Eivor, this matter requires sensitive judgment. Will you?
Of course. From the beginning, please. Well now, there is no excuse too small, I see. Nothing to keep you from coveting that seat, is there? And Sigurds are... ...get out for themselves, but that would mean... ...letting go, would it not? Please start again. Tell me all that has happened. I will start. I have been falsely accused by this Saxon Philistine. A Philly what? Are you mocking me? Silence, please. I will hear both of your complaints and render a decision, awarding compensation if needed. Understood? Rowan, tell me your version of these events. Ah. As you are aware, Holger and I are neighbors. Near enough that I often catch him at my stables, stealing my tools. Borrowing. Holger, let him speak. Stealing, borrowing. My point being, I have always allowed him to use whatever he pleased. I greatly admire your Norse generosity and had hoped to match it. But this morning, Holgir stretched the limits of my grace. Entering my stables for their feed, I found my most beautiful, gentle mare stripped of her tail. Bereft, not a strand in sight. I am ashamed to say my natural suspicion drew me to Holgir and how right I was. But when I peered across the lane, there he was, gripping a horsetail brush slathered with indigo, dragging it across a sheet of painting, Rowan. I was painting. You make it sound so crude. You see? Such willful arrogance. It will take ages for Ilgafu's tail to reach its former length. I demand compensation. I understand. Thank you, Rowan. Holger, let me hear your sight. Eivor. You have known me as a skald for years. You have seen how my poems bring life and joy and wisdom to our people. And you know that my work requires a certain, let us say, freedom. To make use of rare resources to compose my verses. Often when lacking the proper tools, I have made use of novel items. Alvis's walking stick, Tovi's inks, all were given gladly. You cut off my horse's tail to make a brush, you bleed. Rowan? As I was saying, this morning in the throes of poetic reverie, I realized that my latest piece required delicate brushwork. I could have used a frayed stick, some cloth, my hands, but no. I needed something gentler, softer, to make a perfect brush. I needed the fine hairs of a well-raised horse. And so I availed myself of a local resource. You clipped Alfgafu's tail to the rump without asking. It was early. I did not wish to wake you. Thank you, Holger. I believe I understand your position. I believe I have heard enough. If you will... My horse looks like a fool, Eivor. No handsomer than a donkey now. You must do something. Do not conflate hair with beauty, Rowan. She remains radiant. Elgifer's hair will grow back in no time. Quiet, both of you. Now listen. Holger, Rowan is clearly in the right. You shared the tail from his horse without gaining permission. I borrowed the tale! Borrowed! Does the reality of regrowth not make this a victimless crime? It is a two-victim crime, Holger. Though they are unharmed, you took without asking, and that will not do. As the horse's value has diminished significantly, you will pay Rowan its market price. But the horse was not for sale! Rowan! Admit it! My decision is final, Holger. Pay what you owe, and meet tomorrow as friends. And if I do? May I keep the horse? Pay the man and be done with it. Rowan, does this satisfy you? It does. Thank you, Eivor. Good. Then by Tyr's blessing, let this matter rest. We're done here. Return to your homes in peace. Would you allow me to pay you with a... Vibrant painting? After all, in some ways you helped in its creation. Absolutely not. 
Oh, hello, Eivor. Good day. That Holger, he is quite a character. I almost envy him. To see the world through such a muddy glass, and live with such petty concerns. He hasn't a care in the world. Let's not walk too far with that idea. I need you right where you are. East Anglia is with us. Their King Oswald has pledged his loyalty to us. Eivor Kingmaker, we shall call you soon. Some interesting news. King Chilvulv has sent Chilbert to Shropshire. He hopes to install him as Elderman there. Good for Chilbert. He should do well considering all he has learned from you. I gave him only a taste of my knowledge. The rest he will need to figure for himself. One more thing. I do not know if you heard, but Sven passed away a short time ago. The poor man slipped away in his bed. I had not heard, no. And how is Tovi? She must be gutted. It has been rough on her. She spends quite a lot of time at this burial mound. Speak with her, if you have the time. to see the Alliance map. What of Oxenifertshire? Sigurd told me he had business there. Ah, yes. Sigurd is there now, in fact. He bids you go meet him as soon as you can. He has partnered with a rebellious thane called Giedrich, and hopes to install Giedrich as Elderman in exchange for an oath. There is an alehouse at the center of Buckingham. Sigurd will meet you there. Join my brother then. Where is Buckingham? <laughs> Along the Great Owls River that divides Oxenifordshire, Sigurd will be pleased to see you. <laughs> 